I only need a minute of your time. I told you on the phone, we don't have much jewellery. Someone I've spoken to says her friend definitely purchased a ring here. A black onyx ring? Well, look, I've only worked here for a couple of weeks. Well, I'm going to have to see your order book then, aren't I? OK. Anything you get like this, Caroline, just send them straight through to Rose. I keep a cross-referencing system on all suspects. Here, have a look. See, I document anyone ever involved in any SIB lesbian investigation. So that's any suspect mentioned by name in letters, address books, diaries, tip-offs by informers. That's a lot of suspects. Well, often one investigation leads to another. It can go worldwide. You've not actually got any proof against them, then? No, but look. Here's a woman whose roommate informed on her back in Hong Kong. See nothing definite on her then. But here she is again, in your order book. You see, by logging everything, patterns eventually build up. So ring me with any leads you get, Caroline. Stuff from the searches, obviously, but gossip, hunches, anything like that. It's the only way we're going to get them. I think Rose will be happy until she's cleared every lesbian out of the British Army. It's all a bit heavy, though, isn't it, boss? I mean, you think that they were terrorists. <laughs> we can't just pick and choose which regulations we enforce and which we don't. Wherever there are larger groups of women, there's a problem. We get cliques, harassment and bullying. Not anywhere I've been. How would you feel if one of them came onto you, Caroline? Threatened your job if you didn't go through with it. Well, it happens with blokes all the time, doesn't it? Right. Who we got, then? Spiller and Gillett, definitely. I'm not quite sure about the other two. Come here, quick. Lean towards me. We're on surveillance, Caroline. Which involves watching people, right? My mistake. But if you ever get bored with Tony, just let me know, eh? Well, Cheers. There's no doubt about Debbie Spiller. I just try to chat her up. Don't tell me. She didn't fancy you. I'm serious. Not a flicker. Come off it, Jimmy. How can you tell? Well, you get vibes, don't you? It's obvious. I mean, look at Gillip. She's got a crew cut. Practically trying to fill her up. Bloody dykes. OK, then. You buy her a drink. Not really my type, though. <laughs> Come on, you. Out the showers. Oh, bloody hell, stop playing silly buggers! You weren't talking to me by any chance, were you, Corporal? Give me the towel, Staff. What? This one. Give it here, I'm bloody free. You call yourself a soldier. Just you wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How's that boyfriend of yours then, Caroline? What boyfriend? That many, are there? Oh, and there I was thinking I'd been so discreet. Well, he's not. Tony Wallace is a good friend, and that is all. That's not what he's saying. Well, he's got his reputation to think about, hasn't he? Go through every page. We've already got leads on women in Cyprus and Germany from the first search. This one's going to be big. Make a note of the postmark. You might be able to work out which unit's involved. All right.
And that's nice, isn't it? Lots of love, Fred. <laughs> yeah, well, they often use false names. So when you've got a suspect, see if you can't pin them down with some handwriting samples. OK? Yep. Good girl. Please write. I'm counting the hours... till I see you again. Now sign it. Love. D. Come on, Debbie, just your initial. It's the little corporal. Now do it again, Spiller, another ten times. Grope women. You write them disgusting letters. Stop it. Stop it. Please. Right. Ready to drop. That's right. Well. Yeah. Women always do this sort of thing better, Caroline. Just be sympathetic. Let her smile, get her a coffee, get her to trust you. Yeah. She's rattled, but she's going to be relieved we've left her with you. Remember, take your time. Be a friend to her, right? Just talk her down. Use her name. Be nice. She'll come around gradually. Yeah, they always do. She's only young, Caroline. Do her a favour. See? Yeah. Sorry. Right. Go get her. And they'll go on and on until they get it, so just give yourself a break. Tell them what they want to know and then all this will be over. I promise you. So, you ready to tell us yet, Debbie? Yes. You and Michelle Allen had a relationship. What sort of relationship? Do you mean a sexual relationship? Yes. You're saying that you're a lesbian? How do you mean a sexual relationship? 